Hello everyone. Today our topic in operating system course is the processes, definition, process states, and the process control block. I have to mention that the main textbook used in our university for this course is Operating System Concepts by Abraham Silberskatch. A program is a set of instructions given to the computer to solve some problem while a process is a program in execution. The program written in any programming language is called source code. To be executed, it must be translated to a machine language code called object code by a software called compiler if the program is written in a high-level programming language or assembler if the program is written in an assembly language. The source codes, object codes of different programs are usually stored on magnetic disk. In all cases, they are still programs or sometimes they are called passive entities. In order to execute a program, it should be loaded into memory and after that, the CPU can start executing the program. When executing the program, in this case, the program becomes a process or sometimes called active entity. When a program may generate more than one process. Again, if the source code or the object code is stored on a disk, it's considered a program, but after loading it, and starting executing it, it becomes a process. When a program is loaded into the memory and it becomes a process, it can be divided into four sections, stack, heap, text, and data. The process stack contains the temporary data, such as method, function parameters, retain address, which is the content of the program counter and local variables. Heap is dynamically allocated memory to a process during its runtime. Data section contains the global and the static variables. And the text section includes the current activity represented by the value of program counter and the contents of processor registers. Next, process states or process life cycle. When a process executes, it passes through different states. These stages and their names differ from one operating system to another. In general, the process can have one of the following five states at a time. A new, ready, running, waiting, terminated. The process is in the new state when it's being created. The process is in the ready state when it's waiting for the processor. Ready processes are waiting to have the CPU allocated to them by the operating system so that they can run. Processes may come into this state after a new state or if they were running but interrupted by the scheduler to assign the CPU to other process or by completing an I.O. operation. The process is in the running state if its instructions are being executed. The next state is waiting. In this case, the process is waiting for event I.O. completion or reception of signal. The state of the process is terminated if it has finished execution. The process come to this state terminated either after normal termination when the process execution is finished or it may be terminated by the operating system we see in this case abnormal termination 
and in both cases it's moved to the terminated state where it was to be removed from main memory next process control block each process is represented in the operating system by a process control block process control block keeps all the information needed to keep track of a process a process control block is a data structure maintained by the operating system for every process so every process has its own process control block the process control block is maintained for a process throughout its lifetime and is deleted once the process terminates the information contained in the process control block varies from operating system to another and it includes information such as process state new ready running waiting halted or terminated process number or process ID and usually this is an integer value assigned to each process program counter which holds the address of the next instruction to be executed CPU registers such as accumulator index registers stack pointer condition codes and others memory management information such as the values of the base and limit registers page or segment tables and others accounting information the amount of CPU and real time used time limits account numbers process numbers and others IO information such as the list of IO devices allocated to the process a list of open files and other IO status information again the process control block is maintained for a process and is deleted when the process terminates updating the contents of the process control block is a privilege to the operating system and is performed in the system mode here we have a diagram showing CPU switch from process to process suppose that we are currently executing process B0 and an interrupt or system call occurs in this case the operating system should save the state of the process into process control block zero then the operating system reloads the state for the new process from its process control block now the CPU will execute process one if interrupt or system call occur again the operating system saves the state for process one into process control block one and reloads the values for process zero from its control block and continue executing process zero so in switching from one process to another the operating system saves all the information of the all the process in its process control block and loads the information for the new process from its process control block for today that's all thank you